and welcome in Congressman Troy Carter. It's a segment we call DC Current. It's presented by LABI. Congressman Carter, welcome aboard. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Good morning, Brian. How are you? Man, you got Boudin King Cake. Boudin King Cake. I mean, it's, wow. it, it's an absolute game changer. And it's like, it's savory, it's spicy, and it's sweet all in one. It, uh, okay, yeah. so here's your task. Keep that away from me. Because <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll eat it all. <laughs> so, okay, normally I'll like take one bite sample to just kind of evaluate it, give it a little review. Uh, Congressman, I scarfed down an entire piece during the break. It was it was not pretty. Um, there might have been like you know, uh, little pieces of rice and pork just flying all over the studio as I dove in. I, so. I, I'd be right there fighting for another piece with mm -hmm. you. So I'll absolutely. All right, we got a lot to talk about here. I, I'm I, I we're gonna get to the um, twice act in just a minute, but I've got to start with a recap on on last week expansion of the child tax credit. Uh, your takeaways. Uh, I think it's a huge step in the right direction. Listen, it proved a very effective tool in pulling families in Louisiana and across the nation um, out of the, the cycle of poverty. Uh, and when we pull people out of poverty, we create a stronger, better union for our entire country. Um, poverty does not is not an American value. And when we're able to make um, uh, 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 this small investment, I say small, small compared to the kind of investments we make in, in, in foreign defense or in foreign aid, small in, in what we do for corporate America. Finally, we are investing in our people, and we are creating a benefit that approximately 16 million children will benefit from. Um, that's huge, 56,000 of those right here in the state of Louisiana. Um, this is a game-changing opportunity. When we did it a year or so ago, uh, and then it ended. We we had a real test case to see the positive impacts, and we also saw the slippage when it went away. So we have empirical data to, to dictate and to show that this is a game changer for American families. And I'm so proud that we were able to get this off the House floor uh, with a 357 to 70 vote uh, margin, um, and it's it's a win for the people of America, and certainly a win for the people of Louisiana. You know, this is this is this is huge. This expansion really will make a difference in the lives of our young people. And there's nothing you can invest in that has a greater return than investing in our young people, investing in our families, investing in our communities. Building a stronger economy begins with building stronger families. We're talking with Congressman Troy Carter. Uh, in real terms, it's going to hit us. Um, uh, let's say um, incrementally, right? Uh, w the the of the two thousand dollar child tax credit, we can only get refunded up to sixteen hundred of that now. It bumps up to eighteen hundred for this year, nineteen for next year, and two thousand the year after that. Is there a reason it didn't just go all in for this year? Well, the incremental pieces of it is is a part of the budgeting cycle that we unfortunately have to deal yeah. with. If we had never canceled it, uh, we would be at that full phase now. Right. Um, but because of the budgeting cycle and the way it operates. It requires the incremental bumps. We're talking with Congressman Troy Carter a little bit about the expansion of the child tax credit. Um, what else do we need to know about this in 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 real world terms, in Main Street and uh, suburbia terms? Well, what, it, what we need to know is that this is yet another example of us leaning inward, investing in our people, just like we did with the Chips and Science Act, recognizing that. Um, COVID showed us with supply chain that we should never again put ourselves in a position to be completely uh, uh, dependent on foreign entities. And now with the Chips and Science Act, we are building semiconductors in America, employing American people, employing, employing the ingenuity of Americans, and building a robust economy while using our own strength and not being dependent on outside forces. This is the exact same thing. Investing in our families and our people uh, gives us the opportunity to build within. This also expands the low-income tax uh, housing tax credit, which incentivizes research and development uh, for small support for small businesses. You know, that's critically important because when we invest in our people, once again, we invest in small businesses. Small businesses pay sales taxes. Sales taxes provide for infrastructure, police, fire, uh, the backbone of our community. These are all demonstrative of the recognition that we have to invest in America, invest in our people, 
So the child income tax credit is only one part of that. Uh, the, the housing initiative, working with our small businesses, making sure that we're investing in small businesses, giving them the tools and the resources to be successful. Small businesses hire people in our community. Small businesses pay sales tax. And small, pe- small businesses uh, are, are the, the ones that are standing up when all else shuts down. If you recall during COVID, uh, we were able to still go to our small businesses and, 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 and get those necessities of life. We have to stand small businesses up and support them. So there, there's a multifold and multitude of actions in this bipartisan tax uh, package. Um, and, and I'll emphasize bipartisan because you hear me say this all the time. No one party is going to do this alone. Uh, some folk would rather uh, accuse being bipartisan as a bad word. It's not a bad word. People have the right to have different ideas, different philosophies, and different approaches. We don't have the right to retreat to our our respective corners and kick rock and let nothing be done because we didn't get our way. It is incumbent upon all leaders to to learn to come to the table and negotiate for the best outcome for the American people, not for any one party, not for any one group, not for any one ideological um, position, but for what's best for the American people. And that's what we did here with this this package, and I'm hopeful that we'll continue to do that because that's the way the American people win. We got Congressman Troy Carter with us for D.C. Current, presented by LABI. All right, Congressman, when it comes to bipartisanship, when it comes to uh, those who are willing to cross the aisle and work with the other side, I, I, I don't think I would be out of line by saying Congressman Higgins doesn't do that in the news very often. You've teamed up with Congressman Higgins uh, as of, I believe, yesterday uh, to – uh, file the twice act what is this yeah so the twice act and listen and and this again is demonstrative of really going across the aisle and working with anyone who will work toward making louisiana and america a better place when i was in the state senate i worked bipartisanly and we passed a lot of bills and got them to the governor's desk because we were able to build the relationship to advance policy i am doing the same thing in congress and working with um, with, with uh, Representative Clay Higgins to advance the TWICE Act. Uh, and the TWICE Act is very simple. It is the Improved Access to Transportation Worker Identification Credential Program. This is a certification or a, that is needed to work um, in these areas that are uh, critical infrastructure type places. So we have people that have done their time or are completing their time in jail. Mm-hmm. And they, this gives them the opportunity to apply for their TWIC card, which will give them a chance to be employed when they are released. doesn't mean that they will automatically get approved. They still have to go through the process. They still have to have the background check. They have to still be determined to be suitable. But what this does is it gives them a head start. When that person is released from prison, they can immediately go to work. And why is that important? because there's something magical within that first 72 hours of a person's release. If they are not found in a productive setting with housing and a job, the chance of them going back to jail and committing a crime again is exponentially higher than if they were given an opportunity within that first 72 hours. What the TWICE program does is it gives these uh, local prisons, by helping them apply in advance, to get ready to apply for TWIC card and assisting individuals who are appealing or requesting exceptions um, to make sure that they can hit the ground running and be productive citizens again. And I'm proud that this is a bipartisan effort, proud that Representative Higgins and I are doing this together because we both recognize the importance of having safer streets and giving people an opportunity to be productive again, albeit after they've made a mistake that caused them to be incarcerated. Listen, Their erases on pencils because people make mistakes. We want to make sure that they don't make the same mistake again. And by helping them become gainfully employed, we make them a better citizen for our state and our country. This hits home in Louisiana as well, because if I'm not mistaken, when it comes, and I was doing a little bit of research on Twit cards last night, um, this hits the maritime industry as much as anything. Absolutely. Let me tell you, in in industry, they're begging for, for employees. They're begging for people that are eligible to have TWIC clearance so they can get to work. So when you look at Louisiana industry begging begging for its workforce, 
This bill will make reentry more successful and ensure that workforce training can improve people's lives, giving them an opportunity to, one, be rehabilitated and working again, but it also fills a major hole in our industry need for people to fill these positions in the maritime area. So it is, it, it's, it's, it's one of those occasions when you can really say this is a win-win scenario. It's another demonstration of what we can do when we're willing to work together. One doesn't have to give up their party pride in order to meet in the middle to solve problems that affect business, industry, and community. What kind of support does it have? I mean, obviously, if it's you and Clay Young, there's a lot of range on the spectrum in between there to grab support. So how's this looking? Support has been very good thus far. I mean, we've got, we've got uh, strong support on both sides of the aisle, and uh, we're hopeful that we'll be able to push this through and get to the Senate and hopefully get it to the president's desk so we can immediately start um, having the kind of meaningful impact that, that's so desperately needed. Listen, in Washington, uh, as you know, it's not always easy to get both sides to the table. Right. Uh, this is one that I think we're going to be successful with. I apologize. I said Clay Young instead of Clay Higgins. I had Clay Young on the oh, show yeah, yesterday. Clay that was that was yeah, <laughs> my bad entirely. We're talking about Clay Higgins uh, from Louisiana's third. Right now we're talking to Congressman Troy Carter from Louisiana's second. We always appreciate the time, sir. Hey, obviously we're not talking next Tuesday, so have yourself a safe and happy Mardi Gras. Well, unfortunately, you know, we will be here in Washington, the nation is capital. Everywhere else in the everywhere else in the world, it's just Tuesday. Exactly. Uh, so we will we will we'll be here fighting for the American people. So eat a king cake, catch a coconut, pair of beads, and uh, enjoy yourself for me. We will reconvene in two weeks. Have a great one, Congressman. Lazy lay, 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 lay.